Well, last year, more Tennesseans died from drug overdoses than from car crashes. You heard that right, and it wasn't even close. The spike in OD deaths is attributed to fentanyl use. This alarming reality stares lawmakers right in the face as they look to enact laws to battle the crisis. Let's go to News 4's Edward Birch. He's live at Centennial Medical Center right now. And Edward, you spoke with people who were on the front lines about what needs to be done. Alan, here at the ER, doctors see overdoses almost daily. They believe in order to stop the bleeding, limiting prescriptions and cleaning out medicine cabinets is a good start. And it's certainly become a crisis. Most physicians find that this is almost a daily thing. Dr. Robert Moskowitz is an ER doctor at TriStar Centennial Medical Center. He's told several people their loved ones died of an overdose. It's the hardest part of the job. In 2017, Tennessee saw more than 1,700 overdose deaths the highest year-to-date total. This is the sixth year in a row the death toll has gone up. Moskowitz says pilfering is the easiest way for people to get their hands on these pills. A recent drug take-back event hosted by TriStar Health collected a little more than 115 pounds of prescription pills. Sometimes it's the patients themselves that have leftover prescriptions, it's family members that now have easier access, or even children or teenagers that have access to prescriptions that weren't theirs. So by getting these medications that are not needed and out of circulation, it's a tremendous opportunity for safety. This week, lawmakers in Washington will vote on the Opioid Crisis Response Act of 2018, aimed at reducing the use and supply of opioids and encouraging recovery with long-term solutions. We need to have uh, longer initiatives uh, and a deeper investment into this process as well, both from patient safety, from recovery issues, some su support issues, and doing much more education with the general public as well. Now, more than $4 billion has been directed toward the opioid crisis and fighting it. Now, the proposed bill includes the STOPT Act, which allows the FDA to require prescription opioids to be packaged in set amounts of three to seven day prescriptions and that they would come in blister packs like you would see in most over-the-counter medicines. Alan? All right, Edward. Thank you. Senator Lamar Alexander will take part in that vote tomorrow. He says the bill gives the FDA some teeth and allows for prescription limits and will provide funding to develop a non-addictive painkiller.